anyone can get it, and anyone can spread it. Stay home. Protect the NHS frontline staff working to save lives. The khaki, that's one of Julie's favourites as well. Love this, this is your oyster. Then you've got the pink, you need to see this on. It's really will cheer you up. And again, it is a comfortable pair of uh, crops because there's nothing digging in. Keeps everything nice and flat and it is flattering on that thigh area as well. So pulls you in, it doesn't bag, it doesn't sag. So please make sure you check out your baskets as soon as you can. And um, now don't forget, of course, we are celebrating Easter here at Ireland. Is that what we... It's the DFS sale. It's not on. Coronavision four is here now. Earlier on this week I was out in my garden shooting with air rifles. Before we go any further, the wear air rifles, the ammunition for them is inert. Legislation that controls the ownership of air rifles and the use of air rifles. It does refer to them as firearms but they're not firearms in the dictionary definition of the word. They don't use any sort of chemical or ignition to to send the round or the pellet or the bullet down the range. It's all done by air, compressed air. It was done safely. I have a range conducting officer certificate and I've been using air rifles for 30 years. Shot a cow once. It was way in the distance. It mooed. Just mooed. That was an air piss. Honestly, I mean, it just, it's probably had harder slaps on the arse than the farmer. Be that as it may, when you're using air rifles, you, you have to be safe. Now I'm going to show you the two air rifles that I used right now. So the two rifles we used earlier on in this week were this. This is a, a Webley VMX 2-2 Springer air rifle. Open sights. And then we used the Stogar, which you've seen, which is a 177 Springer suppressed. That's what this big bulbous bit here is for. And with a telescopic sight on. Those were the rifles we used. This. Uh, both full power rifles, but this has a much higher muzzle velocity because it's a 177 than the 22. Very quickly, why would you have a 22 or a 177? A uh, pellet travelling a lot more quickly is going to have an awful lot more kinetic energy behind it, so it's going to do a lot more damage. I always thought a 22 pellet travelling more slowly would do more harm, but no, when I was out earlier this week, this one was the one that was doing most of the heavy hitting, so to be fair this rifle probably is a wee bit more powerful than the, than the VMX. So, but let's uh, have a look at the footage I shot earlier on this week. On the table here I've got two cameras set up, just a sort of a GoPro copy cheap thing. And I've got my old phone there, they've both got slow motion modes which they're both in. Let's, let's see what happens, I'm going to start with something simple. That was a, a 177 into a tomato and a 22 into, into a tomato. I'm pretty sure this is the 22. I mean, they both fell off the table and I, and, and I got them mixed up. But if you look at that 22 and then look at the exit wound, which is minimal, and then you look at this, which is the 177, so you've got your, well, you can hardly see, and then the back end of it is, is blown out. So. Okay, a 22 pellet might be heavier, but the 177 pellet is travelling much more, much more quickly. We might stick with the 177, and because I think that might be more effective at destroying fruit and veg. There are many things that I cannot abide. None more so than sweet corn. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, sweet corn, it's quite tough stuff. We know that because it's the only thing that survives, you know, when you, and then you, or you, you know, because it's always there. I never eat it, so I don't know. It tastes like, we've got two, that was a 177 there. I think that's a 2-2 because it's a bigger hole. Just totally worked out myself. However, on the back end, we've just got two wee dents. So the sweet corn in there is clearly bulletproof. Well, pellet proof. We're gonna have another go. I really like sweet corn. I've got it. Sorry, I, I can smell the, the sweet corn juice and it, it, it's giving me the book. So we have new. Oh, it's dripping on me. <laughs> More going in, and we've got stuff coming at the back. Once you shoot one of these and you penetrate it, the pressure goes, so the strength that it's got also goes. I'm not trying to give you a, a, a scientific expose of how tins work, but I, I really hoped it would explode and it didn't. So well, we're gonna go for something that might hopefully be a wee bit more explosive. So we have here, found it in the scout hall, date is March 2020, so out of date. We cannot abide having out of date foodstuffs in our hall. We it just never happens. We never, ever, ever, ever have out of date food in our hall. It never, not ever. We've n n not even in the back of the, the rearmost cupboard. We've mm, mm, nah, no. So, <laughs> that's quite good. Went straight in just with a 177. I think any pellet would do that, but I gave it a good shake as well. Uh, I fired that 177, and I've still got a 22 pellet in the 22 rifle, and I have some of this. Got energy in it, mega energy, monster energy. So one of the great things about being a scout leader is, is that it gives you a really good excuse to do stupid things like this. I mean, I'm doing it safely. I'm not, I've got a backstop there. I'm, I'm totally cool, but <laughs> just totally. So we've got a, where are we? I think I just skimmed it. I think that's the, that's the root in and that's the root out. And it just, there's some still in there. I don't know if you, I'm not, I can, oh. And it went all over my cameras as well, so fizzy juice is fine. But how about some pink blush dry shampoo for all hair types? After that, we're gonna try some shave foam, see what happens.
grass anyway. If we have a look at the pink blush dry shampoo for all hair types, tiny wee hole there, and and there's your. It's only a 177 that went into that, so you can see it went right through it. Probably quite thin metal though. Oh. Shaving foam. Can't really see it, but you can see that's the or what it's worth. It went in there, and I don't think it came out. We also said we were going to try and mash a potato with this. This is a potato and this is a Crossman 1077. What this is is a CO2 powered rifle, which is a repeater. It takes a, a sort of a revolving drum of 177 pellets. It's not the most powerful air gun, but however, you can just fire 12 shots as fast as you can pull the trigger. And I, I mean, I would want to eat the mashed potato, but. And I've not cooked it. I know you're supposed to cook potatoes before you mash them. Not, not a total moron. Well, maybe in the kitchen. The point is, is that this... I just want to shoot a potato. I think it's fair to say that we well and truly murdered that potato, but is it mashed? That's the question that is on the tip of all of our tongues. Our potato is... it certainly has holes in it. I don't think... I think that might be full of pellets. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh that's foul. It is, they're all in there still. I would focus, but I've got potato... <laughs> I'm covered in potato juice. Hold on. Yeah, there. <laughs> can you mash a potato with an air rifle? No, no, you can't. Obviously, it wasn't cooked, but I, I don't think that would have affected the outcome of the experiment. So the answer is still no. Moving on to other questions, it's time for. Hi Paul, this is Craig in Aberdeen with a question, problem or query. I'm growing out my facial hair for the duration of the self-isolation because I thought this situation gave a rare opportunity to experiment with my look. So my question is, should I shave or does this tragic, disgusting, patchy mess somehow work better on me than it does for absolutely everyone else who attempts it? Also, what's your favourite shape? Pasta. Hi Craig, to answer your question, I think you're suffering from what an awful lot of other people are suffering from in this lockdown. You're basically letting yourself go and you're looking for validation from me, which is fine. I'm, I know I'm a, a role model in your life, even now, since you've left Scouts. Don't do it. Don't, don't let yourself go. Also, you say you've been growing it, as in you've already started. I, I can't see anything. I, I even sent your video to GCHQ for analysis and they, they couldn't detect any any sort of facial hair. I, I hope that doesn't make you feel too bad, but I think you might need to wait for, for you know, the that time that happens in, in a boy's life when... I think I need to move on. Quite like ravioli, tinned ravioli, simple man. But really, I think it has to be spaghetti hoops. It just, it reminds me of childhood. Spaghetti hoops on toast. That's what I would go for. I actually did some research. There are a lot of different types. And I, I'll be honest, when I was younger, I thought that it was a mistake. There was basically spaghetti and everything else. And everything else was randomly generated in the factory. Thanks for your question, Craig. I hope that answer helps. 
And now, on to our next question. We have stabby stabby, pointing pointing, zombie killing stuff. Hi Murray, that's a good question. It is true, if there is a zombie outbreak, the place you want to go is the Scout Hall because it has all the sharp implements, it has all the all the tools that you might need to bash in a zombie's brain because we all know that that's the only way you can kill a zombie is. I would ask though that you keep this information under your hat because if it does happen we don't want everyone rushing to the scout hall. We've got machetes, axes, knives, saws, tent poles, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, you need to keep that under your hat. Don't tell anyone. Hmm. Thanks for your question, Murray. It's such a good question, I'm going to answer it more fully next week because next week's video is going to be all about surviving the zombie apocalypse. I uh, will dig out anything I think might be useful if there is an attack of the undead. That's all we've got time for this week for questions, problems and queries, but if you've got any questions yourself, problems, queries, send them in. I promise I'll make more of an effort, possibly maybe someone else to answer them because clearly I'm not qualified. That's it. Ha <laughs> ha